everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney Alma, and this is the first week of Jolly July, as well as like Christmas stitching. Um, so I'm so excited to show you the Christmas stuff I've worked on this week, as well as in the comments below, I would love to know what projects you're working on if you're stitching Christmas as well. I do have um, behind me displayed a Merry Christmas sign from last year from Hobby Lobby, as well as my And To All A Good Night that I stitched um, by Stitching With The Housewives. That was their last year Christmas in July piece. Okay, so let's just go ahead and dive on into today's video. And if you've guys seen in my previous videos or anything for Christmas stitching in July, on the weekends I was doing what's called a whip weekend. And so any of my previous works in progress Christmas that I had. So my first one, Saturday, um, July 1st was Abby Rose Designs Primitive Merry Christmas Pillow. And I'm stitching this on 32 count Picture This Plus brush that it calls for. And this was my progress from Saturday. I was going to stitch on this Saturday and Sunday, but we had some family friends that were in town visiting in Gatlinburg. So, of course, I had to go see them Sunday after church and... We walked the strip and we went to go to the aquarium and it was just so much fun being able to spend time with them and I hadn't seen them in so so long so I was very glad to have that time. I didn't pick up any stitching that day but that is definitely okay and um but I did get a few stitches in Saturday on this and I do plan to pick this up maybe one more day of this month during Christmas stitching just to get a little bit more done on it. Okay, so the next one was Monday, and that was a new start for me. So my new start was A Classic Christmas by Hands On Design. And I'm stitching this on the called for 32 count French Golden Needle. And I'm using all the call for DMC for it. So this was my progress. I loved working on it, and I really love the colors and how they are a little bit different twist on Christmas. And like it says, a classic Christmas and it's very beautiful. All right. So the next day was Tuesday and Tuesday I was going to start the mystery evergreen set, stitch along with fat quarter shop. Um, but they had a delay on it due to fabric and things weren't here in time. So it's pushed till next week on July 11th. So I was trying to figure out what I wanted to stitch and it was the 4th. So I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and start my um, piece that's with Colorado Cross Stitcher. She's doing Cross Stitch Camp. And this month is a pattern that grows. Something that grows. So I picked Sunflower Farm by Stitching with the Housewives. And I got to start it Tuesday. And I'm stitching this on 32 count gray check Lugana. And I love it. I switched the colors of the threads a little bit from the called for because I wanted it to show up on this 32 count on this check. And I ended up picking this color right here since the day before I stitched a classic Christmas. Um, it's that same color that she's in the Mary and some of the houses. It is DMC 37.99, and I loved it so much that I thought that color will be perfect for Sunflower Farm as well as the truck that is originally white to be able to have that stitched in that little bit of darker to show up. But that was my start for Cross Stitch Camp. And then, of course, with it being 4th of July, I had to get some more stitches on. Let me get the pattern out. This is a God Bless America by Stitching with the Housewives. And I'm just stitching this on 28 count T dyed Monaco fabric. And this is what I got done on the 4th. Since you last saw it, I got a little bit done on the flagpole of the flowers and the greenery, as well as started the house. And I got these two flowers completed going down in some of the leaves as well. So a little bit of work done on the fourth on it, as well as my cross stitch camp start. So that's what I did on this piece. It's so beautiful. 
so there was that and then so i had allotted for the evergreen stitch along tuesdays and wednesday every tuesday and wednesday of this month to work on it so i was wondering i was like well what do i want to stitch on then because that's what i had it allotted for so i went to hobby lobby yesterday well today's thursday when i'm filming this for you to have uploaded for friday so i went yesterday and wednesday and i was trying to think about what i wanted to stitch and so i bought the pdf pattern of candy cane lane and i went ahead and bought the roll of 14 count uh, black ada and went ahead and picked up all of my threads dmc's for this pattern and started stitching this so this is as much as i got done yesterday on candy cane lane by stitching with the housewives and i love it it says beautiful colors like that's in and to all a good night if you've seen them they're very beautiful and i love stitching on this so i'm excited to see my progress on it and what i do i might just sprinkle this in throughout the whole month try to get some stitches in here and there i'm not quite sure if i'll have set days or anything or if i'll make this my tuesday and wednesday stitch I'm not positive just yet but definitely will get some work on this done because i love it so much so that was candy cane lane my next one is thursday's a new start so i started naughty or nice by hands on design and I'm stitching this actually on a, I need to link it below because I know now whenever I'm editing this I'll know what fabric I use so I'll put it in the description um but I had this kind of scrap piece of fabric that's this beautiful green color that I wanted to stitch this on that I thought would just be super cute so I started stitching on this this morning and that's as much as I've gotten done started down here on his beard and I have um, one of his gloves done and a little bit of the trim but I definitely love how cute this fabric I mean this pattern is and there's a close-up of it so I've done this part right here and then just one of the gloves and I switched um, some of my threads out I didn't want to stitch the chronic because oh that can kind of get frustrating how that glitter is with it like the the strain of the floss so i switched some of the colors out so you'll see as i stitch it what i picked for it um but i think it's going to be super cute either way but i do like how that glitter is very pretty all right and then uh today when you're seeing this on friday will be a new start for me so i'll go ahead and share that because as you're watching this this is what i'm stitching on and it is little house needleworks and this is their holiday i mean their hometown holiday uh series and this is the quilt shop so this is what i picked for friday stitching so i have that kitted up ready to go and i'm excited to start it and like i said wednesday i went and to hobby lobby and all of the fall is out and i'm so excited for it too it smelt like fall when you walked in it was it's amazing so i um did a little bit of shopping i did buy just a plain frame to do some finishing on that was kind of in the summer stuff and then i did pick this piece up it was three dollars so of course i had to it was so stinking cute the little fireworks that has the usa on it so I grabbed that for um, my trays and it's just so fun seeing all the fallout. There's no Christmas out just yet because that's where my eyes were since we're doing Christmas stitching. Um, but I'm definitely going to check back between this and between now and then the end of the month for sure to see when they release like put all the Christmas. Um, so I'm excited about that for sure. Like I said below, let me know. Um, if you're stitching Christmas and what projects you're working on and I hope you guys have a blessed week and happy stitching